Welcome to this lesson. In our previous lesson, we discussed the importance of Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. In this lesson, we'll be looking at a new topic altogether, which is adolescent reproductive health. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to define adolescence, be able to identify three features of male adolescents and also three features of female adolescents. When we talk about adolescence, it is a period between childhood and adulthood. So the adolescent is somewhere in between these two main periods of life. Now, the age limit for adolescents is between 10 and age 19. We look at some features of male adolescents. The most important or key thing is the development of a deep voice. This deep voice we call bass. And so you realize that I am depicting bass in my speech. The next one is the growth of pubic hair. When we talk about pubic hair, we are talking about hair on the armpit and on your private part. Again, the male adolescent grows facial hair. And this is also a very important part of the development of adolescents. They also begin to develop feelings for the opposite sex. And then finally, they have broad shoulders, which also depicts adolescents in males. When we talk about female adolescents, one key thing also, just like the males, they develop feelings for the opposite sex. They also start developing breasts, and then they also start to experience menstruation at the end of every month. They also grow pubic hair, which like we said here, is the growth of hair on the armpits and the private parts. And then finally, they grow hair, they also develop broad hips. This is a, an image or a picture of some male adolescents who are in groups. This is also an image of some female adolescents who are in groups. This brings us to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, we have defined adolescence, we have looked at three features or features of adolescent males and females. In our next lesson, we'll look at reproductive health and reproductive system. See you in the next lesson.